Hello and welcome to this edition and the premiere edition of Product Breakdowns. Now in these videos we're going to be taking one of the baits we offer, our CCP Cousin Baits, and breaking down everything about it. Uh, a lot of our viewers have been leaving comments and asking if we're going to do videos focusing just on our bait and, and well, basically breaking it down. So yes we are and this is actually the segment called Product Breakdown. In this premiere edition, we're going to be doing the dropping stick. Uh, this is one of the first baits I started working with when we started doing our CCP Custom Baits. And because I just got into drop shotting and found out how versatile it was. And I'm telling you, this, I mean, well, it's a stick bait. Sure, it's a dropping stick and it's only three inches, but you got to know the lineage of a stick bait. I mean, the Sanko took over the world and almost everyone throws that when they have to get a fish and they're often not hitting anything else. Well, same thing about a drop stick. If they're on a drop shot bite and you want to drop shot a bait, this drop and stick, just, I mean, I don't know how many of them I've gone through. I'm, I'm out of some colors. I've just, I just love this thing. And majority of the time, we're fishing on a bait caster, kind of untraditional, but it's shallow here. There's a lot of stumps. Usually I'm using 10, 12, sometimes 14 pound line, a little bit heavier line. Uh, I use an eighth ounce weight majority of the time. Uh, uh, the bait caster, it's 6.3 to 1. That really doesn't matter. But the rod, it's a 6.6 medium. Uh, I like the shorter rod with it. I want a better feel for me. But you need the medium because you're using smaller hooks and drop shot hooks. If you have something that has a really stiff, you're going to rip it out of their mouth. And as far as the hooks, we always use Gamatsus. Um, probably because 9% of the time we're fishing this, we're actually fishing it uh, nose hooked. And the reason we like the Gamatsu is because it's a straight shank. Uh, Mustad, Owner, a lot of those other ones, they have a slight hook to them. And so when you put these on and you're nose hooking, and you can look at our proper way to nose hook, one of our videos uh, a while back, you want to put it in halfway into the front, not all the way through it. But with it being straight and not having that little twist, that really helps us line it up so we get that nice straight action with this thing on a drop shot. And the action, well, here's some video of what this thing actually looks like coming to the water when you work it nose hooked, like we do 90% of the time on a drop shot. So I'm telling you, great bait and I'm sure once you start using this thing sometimes it might be the only bait you use on a drop shot and on another note yes we're doing it untraditional on the bait caster and something you should try be more versatile with the drop shot but if you're out deep and you have the traditional spinning rod and you're going down to six or four uh, anyway I said we do it nose hook 9% of the time do it wacky I mean put this thing on and I mean, seriously, dropping it straight down over suspended fish or on the bottom and just, you don't even have to move this thing. Just the, the way it's designed and the wiggle, it's just, I mean, just trust me, try it wacky if you're going deeper on a drop shot. So there you go. Our new CCB drop and stick and our new product breakdown. Uh, if you're looking for something, if you haven't gotten into drop shotting or gotten into the way we fish it with the shallow rolling. Again, you can look back at our video. I'm telling you, get some of our dropping sticks, rig them up, and usually our leader's only about you know eight inches, but you can play with that. Nose hook them, use the Komatsu drop shot hooks, and I think you'll become a fan of, well, not only untraditional drop shotting, but our new dropping stick. Hope this helps. Until next time. Honest on is my name, traveling sales is my game. I got customers that I've gotta see. 